okay so let us what now what i will do is i will take an example okay okay right so what i do i will take an example and what do i say fill in the blanks okay so fill in the blanks okay so first one which is simple e power minus 2t u of t you want to fill in the blank so what is the fourier transform left hand side is the signal right hand side is the fourier transform so that's easy because a is greater than zero definitely this flow will have fourier transform you will get one by two plus j omega as the fourier transform okay second one so second one i'll take e power 3t u of t what about this flow here because a is negative correct because a is negative this flow will not have fourier transform why because this signal is not absolutely integrable okay so next third one let me take e power 2 minus jt u of t okay so clearly this signal is also not absolutely integrable and hence he will not have fourier transform next fourth one let us take e power 3t u of minus t okay so please pay attention to the examples okay look at the second one and fourth one so what did we get we get in the third second signal it is e power 3t u of t which is not absolutely integral but if you look at e power 3t u of minus t so this signal is absolutely integral and this flow will have 1 by 3 minus j omega as the Fourier transform so similarly let us take fifth example which is e power 2 minus jt multiplied with u of minus t so this is also absolutely integrable and hence you will get 1 by a minus j omega which is 1 by 2 minus j minus j omega so that would be the Fourier transform of the signal okay now let us take this side okay so let's say I have 1 by 1 plus j times omega plus 1 okay so we want to find the fill in the blank on the left hand side in i mean we have to find the signal so that is the sixth example okay so what does how do you find the corresponding signal here so this signal this or this function can be written as what 1 by 1 plus j plus j omega so clearly this is looking like what 1 by a plus j omega so what should be the corresponding Fourier transform you should have e power minus of 1 plus j t multiplied with u of t okay so that would be the signal whose Fourier transform is given by 1 by 1 plus j times omega plus 1 okay right next let us take seventh example which is e power minus 3 mod t okay so what happens for this what is the Fourier transform of this signal that should be what so it is looking like e power minus a mod t so definitely Fourier transform is 2a divided by a squared plus omega squared okay that should be equal to 6 by 9 plus omega square okay next so we will take the other way around so what is the signal which will have 1 by 6 plus omega square as a Fourier transform that is the eighth example okay so which signal will have 1 by 6 plus omega square so this is looking similar to 2a by a square plus omega square but uh, there is a small change that scaling factor is not there so this can be written as okay so I will write down like this 1 by 2 times root 6 multiplied with 2 times root 6 divided by root 6 whole square plus omega square 
correct we can write like this so that this signal and this function and this function both are same so you will get 1 by 2 root 6 multiplied with 2 root 6 divided by root 6 whole square plus omega square so definitely if you take the how is the function looking at it is looking like 2a by a squared plus omega square except that scaling factor is there so what should be the corresponding signal you will get 1 by 2 root 6 which is the scaling factor and the corresponding signal should be e power minus a which is root 6 mod t so e power minus root 6 mod t multiplied with 1 by 2 root 6 will have 1 by 6 plus omega square as the Fourier transform in that way uh, we should be very uh, what you call it should be, you you should be very thorough in this uh, examples okay so next uh, let us take uh, ninth one again uh, let me give in frequency domain so I'll say it is plus j omega by 3 plus omega square Correct. So, which signal will have this as the Fourier transform? Again, you should be aware that one of the signal which we have seen above will have this kind of, not exactly same, but similar Fourier transform. So, what we will do? I will multiply and divide with 2. Okay. So, if you multiply and divide with 2, you will get minus 2j omega divided by root 3 whole square plus omega square. So, how is this looking now? The term inside the square bracket, it is looking like minus 2j omega by a squared plus omega square except that scaling factor. So what will happen to the signal? The signal would be like that scaling factor will be there. So you will get minus 1 by 2 multiplied with e power minus a t. So a is how much here? Root 3. Okay. So e power root 3 t e power minus root 3t u of t minus e power root 3t u of minus t. Okay, so sorry for the clutter. Hopefully you understood what actually the answer is. Okay, right. Next, tenth one. Again, I will talk the talk about the Fourier transform and I want to find the signal. Okay, okay. So which signal will have 1 by j omega as the Fourier transform? Yes, something should strike. So this can be written as 1 by 2 times 2 by j omega. So definitely which signal will have 2 by j omega as a Fourier transform? Signum function. So what will be the 10th signal? That would be 1 by 2 multiplied with signum of t. Okay. So that fellow will have 1 by j omega as the Fourier transform. Next, 11th one. I'll take the time domain signal. So delta of 3t. So what will be the Fourier transform of delta of 3t? Yes, you should have already seen that in our first chapter that delta of 3t can be written as 1 by 3 delta of t. But we have already seen that what is Fourier transform of delta of t? It is 1. So what will be the answer? 1 by 3 multiplied with 1. That should be 1 by 3. Okay, right. Next, 12th one. Okay, so 12th signal. Now again, I will give in frequency domain. You should tell the answer. So let's say the Fourier transform is given by 3 by j omega plus pi times delta of omega. So which signal will have this as the Fourier transform here? Yes, yeah, so if you are smart, you can write this as what? 2 by j omega plus 1 by j omega plus pi times delta of omega okay so we already know which signal will have 2 by j omega as a Fourier transform we already know which signal will have 1 by j omega plus pi delta of omega as the Fourier transform so which signal will have 2 by j omega as a Fourier transform signum of t and which signal will have okay we are splitting like this so 2 by j omega plus 1 by j omega plus pi delta of omega. So which signal will have 1 by j omega plus pi delta of omega as the Fourier transform? That is u of t. So signum of t plus u of t will have 2 by j omega plus 1 by j omega plus delta of omega, pi delta of omega, which is same as 3 by j omega plus pi delta of omega. Okay, right. Next, let us take 13th one. So again, I will ask in frequency domain. So that should be, let us, let the function be sine 4 omega by omega. So which 
signal will have sine 4 omega by omega as a Fourier transform. You already know that a rectangular function. But what is capital T here? So capital T is equal to 4. Okay. So which signal will have this as the Fourier transform? It's a rectangular function from where to where? So this is looking like sine omega capital T. So capital T is how much? 4. So you will get minus 4 to plus 4. But happens to amplitude okay here 2 is missing and hence what should happen here amplitude should get multiplied with 1 by 2 so rect of so this is nothing but what so 1 by 2 rect of uh, t by 8 because width of the rectangular function is 8 so 1 by 2 rect of t by 8 will have sin 4 omega by omega as the Fourier transform okay right this is uh, which number 12th one okay so now let us take 13th example let us take our signal to be sin t divided by pi t so which signal the signal is given to be sin t by pi t now we have to find the Fourier transform of this signal but we already know that uh, this signal is looking like what sin w t by pi t so sin w t by pi t will have a rectangular function from minus w to plus w as the Fourier transform but what is w at W is 1 so definitely this signal will have what as Fourier transform this signal will have a rectangular function from minus w w is how much 1 to plus 1 with amplitude 1 okay so sin t by pi t will have a rectangular function from minus 1 to plus 1 as the Fourier transform okay so last which is a nice problem okay so now in 14th problem so again what do i do i give you the fourier transform you have to find the signal so fourier transform is given by 1 by 6 plus let's say j phi omega minus omega square so we have to find the fourier transform of this signal how do you find fourier transform of this crazy signal here yeah so if you are smart again you can write this as 1 by j omega whole square plus j phi omega plus 6 correct yes so again you can factorize the denominator right so this is equal to how much 1 whole divided by j omega plus 2 multiplied with j omega plus 3 okay now by using partial fraction expansion so this would be equal to how much if you substitute j omega with minus 2 so you will get 1 by j omega plus 2 and then you replace j omega with minus 3 so you will get minus 1 by j omega plus 3 so that would be the partial fraction expansion you can check it out okay if you multiply uh, cross multiply and check you can get the answer but which signal will have this as the Fourier transform? How is the first term looking? It is looking like 1 by 2 plus j omega. Which signal will have that as the Fourier transform? e power minus 2t u of t. So similarly, what about the second one? It is looking like 1 by 3 plus j omega. So which signal will have 1 by 3 plus j omega as a Fourier transform? That minus sign will be there. So e power minus 3t u of t. So this signal will have 1 by 6 plus phi j omega plus omega square as the Fourier transform. Okay, right.